Hey guys, Dave here from theapplejunkie.com and you're probably wondering why I am on the PC side of the universe and that is because I am going to be showing you a new uh, jailbreak information tool that just came out um, by a developer uh, name, named uh, Destructor95. De Destructor um, now, <clears throat> Uh, basically, it's kind of like a uh, forecast made by uh, the developer of, uh, of Snowbreeze, but this is a little bit more advanced. This will give you a full uh, informational uh, database where it'll show you how to, uh, you know, downgrade. It'll show you, well, let me just show you, all right? So, as you can see, um, I'll have the uh, link in the sidebar for you. Uh, so you can download this tool and it's called tool jail All right, so we'll go ahead and we're going to run this real quick <clears throat> And the first thing that pops up uh, says destructor 95 is not responsible for any damage to your device made by using the tutorials and the tool jail that the tool jail provides uh, This program gives you tutorials only for information Yeah, whatever All right, so basically you have home which is this screen right here. All right, you have the about the program which will give you a quick overview of what the program is about I mean it's fairly simple um, just gives a couple shout outs down here you know where to find him on uh, on Twitter which is pretty cool <clears throat> alright so now you have your jailbreaks alright so basically what you want to do is you want to put in your device alright as much information as you can alright so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go with the uh, iPhone 3G with the SIM locked and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to firmware which mine is on 3.1.2 and earlier alright and sometimes you can get away with taking this uh, uh, out of here um, I'm gonna try it may not work but uh, the model here that we're gonna go uh, is okay that's only for iPod touch I forgot I'm sorry and then what we're gonna do is um, your ECID firmware for 3.1.2 or earlier, uh, if, uh, if you saved it in Cydia, um, if you didn't, you're pretty much out of luck right now. All right. Um, that's also going to be used for, uh, if you downgraded, uh, if you downgrade. All right. So now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to the bottom. Oh, and by the way, the iBoot and the ECID um, which is the same thing as the SHSH, SHSH files. Um, if you don't know what they are or how to get them, you can just go down here and you can click uh, the little uh, blue annotation down here and it'll give you a rundown on how to get it. All right, for Windows and for Mac. All right, same thing here. How can I find out? And it'll show you exactly what to do. <clears throat> and if you haven't done this, then you pretty much are not going to be able to uh, grab it now. All right, so down here we're going to put in the operating system. All right, and I'm currently on Windows platform, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then we're going to hit search, and then basically it says you can do the jailbreak. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to press start tutorial. Now, this is basically for, uh, n you know, noobs that don't know what they're doing or people who are very uh, on the fence on upgrading their firmware. All right, so okay, now um, the window says now it is impossible to unlock the baseband with firmware 3.1.3. This tutorial will allow you to jailbreak your device, but not unlock it. All right, so if you're an unlocker like me, if I'm, uh, if you're on uh, T-Mobile, um, this is not going to work for you. So my suggestion is stop right here and just wait for another solution if it comes up. All right. So you could do the same thing. Okay, uh, basically it says here, before you do the jailbreak using tutorial, update your iPhone to the original uh, firmware 3.1.3. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and finish that. And then it says jailbreak iPhone 3G SIM locked. All right, so it says download the firmware. Uh, you guys can go through all this. It's it's very fairly simple. If you guys don't know what to do, uh, just check my other videos. <laughs> all right, so let's see if we can go with, uh, let's see iPhone 3G factory unlocked and see what happens now. Okay, actually let's let's get out of there and reset it. Okay. Boom. Okay, iPhone 3G unlocked. 3.12 earlier. 
Okay, boom. All right, and we'll do that. Boom. Okay, so it's now now it says you can do the jailbreak. All right, and you know this is gonna work. This is gonna work for your uh, uh, iPod two uh, second two uh, G. I'm sorry, three uh, G, three GS, iPod uh, Touch, first gen, second gen, and third gen, depending on what you have, either the uh, MB or MC model. All right. Um, so we'll go ahead and start this tutorial before you. Uh, okay, so before you do the unlock using this tutorial update. All right. So basically now it says it's for the factory unlocked. Uh, you can upgrade to this uh, firmware and still be able to uh, unlock it. All right. So you can go through that and it'll tell you the same thing. Uh, you know, download the 3.1.2 uh, from the link, um, which brings me to my next. Uh, thing here um, if you need once you do these tutorials once you once you know you can do everything um, go down to the bottom here where it says links and it'll give you all the firmware that you need even the bootloaders which you may not need um, now it's for like the older models um, but you'll you'll uh, you, you'll definitely need them um, in the future uh, so yeah, this will give you everything you need—the firmwares, the uh, all the jailbreak tools that you need to uh, complete this um, jailbreak tutorial. All right, so we can go down to the next one here, which is DFU mode and recovery mode. This will show you exactly how to do this. All right, you hit start tutorial, and then it'll show you exactly how to do it. It's very very simple. It's not very hard. All right, it'll count down everything for you. Again, if you get confused, you can check my other uh, videos here all right and then um, now for those of you that have saved your SHSH files um, and you get stuck on 3.1.3 and you want to downgrade to 3.1.2 or earlier this will give you the tutorial on how to do it all right this will show you how to find again your ECID or SHSH files all right, um, and then it'll give you the whole rundown, blah, blah, blah. Black Rain created by GeoHot. Here is the official website. You can go to that if you want. And then again, your links. All right, so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I think, I, I mean, I like this. I uh, recommended this to somebody who, who was uh, pretty much very, very new to this, um, and they were able to... Um, go ahead and jailbreak their iPod touch uh, second gen with this all right and then um, with a little bit of support from me but all was well it worked pretty good all right guys so what I'll do is like I said I'll put this in the uh, the sidebar for you to download if you need it all right um, so if you have any questions you can uh, email me at Dave at the Apple um, or you can comment uh, below um, and if this worked for you on which to if you can rate five stars and definitely comment and hit the subscribe button. All right, guys, so Dave here from the AppleJunkie.com. I'll see you later. Peace.